Hey everyone, and welcome back to CE Critic. Today we're diving deep into the world of HDR, specifically with some exciting news from Netflix. They just announced support for HDR10+, and that's a pretty big deal for anyone who cares about picture quality. We're going to break down what that means, what HDR10+, is, and how it stacks up against the other HDR formats you've probably heard about. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about HDR10 and HDR10+. Now, HDR10 is a baseline for most widely adopted HDR format. Think of it as a foundation. It's great. It gives you a wider range of color and contrast, that standard dynamic range, or SDR, but it uses something called static metadata. That means the picture settings are set once for the entire movie or show. So if you have a scene that's super bright followed by a really dark scene, the TV is trying to apply the same setting to both. This can lead to blown out highlights in the bright scenes and crushed blacks in the dark ones. That's where HDR10 Plus comes in. It uses dynamic metadata. This means the picture settings are adjusted scene by scene or even frame by frame. So your TV is getting precise instructions on how to display each moment. This leads to a much more accurate and consistent picture with better details in both bright and dark areas. Now, you've probably also heard about Dolby Vision. It's another dynamic metadata HDR format, and it's often considered the premium option. So how does HDR10 Plus compare? Both HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision use dynamic metadata, which is the key thing here. The main difference comes down to a few points. First, Dolby Vision is a proprietary format. That means Dolby charges licensing fees for its use. HDR10 Plus is an open standard, meaning it's royalty free. Second, Dolby Vision often boasts superior technical specs. It supports up to 12-bit color depth, while HDR10 is usually 10-bit. In theory, this means Dolby Vision can display a wider range of colors, However, in real-world viewing, the difference isn't always noticeable to everyone. It really depends on the TV, the content, and your own eyes. Currently, there are no TVs on the market that can support 12-bit color depth, so you're not seeing the full potential of Dolby Vision anyways. Now, both offer significant improvement over standard HDR10, which is really, really great to see from Netflix here. So with the introduction of HDR10+, I think Netflix is looking at it from two main points. One is to lower the cost of production for new content. Second, HDR10+, in conjunction with their AV1 codex, is a strategic move that's going to address both picture quality and bandwidth efficiencies. So Netflix adding HDR10+, is a big win for consumers, especially those with Samsung TVs, which have long supported the format. It also raises some interesting questions about the future of HDR. Will this push other TV manufacturers to adopt HDR10 Plus? Will Netflix start producing more HDR10 Plus content directly? Only time will tell. But it's great to have another option for getting the best possible picture quality. So that's the latest news on Netflix's HDR10 Plus support. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech videos. And let me know in the comments what HDR format you prefer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.